What's up guys, Ruben here today, and uh, today I wanted to do my top 5 apps for consuming information. Uh, we live in an air consume a lot of information, and I wanted to get that, um, you know, you're looking for apps all the time and ways to obtain this information, and uh, today I have my next 7, I'm going to show you 5 apps that I think work really well on this device, and um, obviously other Android devices, um, for consuming information. So all these apps are free, um, minus one in purchase uh, paid app which I will talk to you about and we'll start off with so first off we're going to start off with Tap2 uh, Tap2 is an RRS uh, reader basically what it does is uh, it consumes, it allows you to create streams they're called um, based on different topics, you can merge streams so for instance either the Android Community, Android and Me and Android Authority um, RRS stream here and I can view these cards which are very nice um, I can then can merge them into the one and call it Android and then have all the stories from those RRS feeds into the one which is pretty cool. Uh, that's called a DJ feature as you can see here you can merge things and you can also remove them. They have their own store where you can uh, you can browse RRS feeds including Facebook and Twitter. Uh, it links in and pulls information from your account um, and they also uh, tap to create their own like tennis streams and health news and you can add them need be. You can also sync it with G Reader or Google Reader, and uh, you can obviously have your uh, RS streams imported into this as well. Uh, you can go up here, and we have numerous settings, including um, logging out. You can log in. I logged in my Google, uh, my Gmail account, so it syncs across all my devices. The uh, obviously the RS streams I've read. Um, this app is free, but when you purchase it for free, there are ads in it. I believe you can. There's a purchase. Um, to get rid of these ads but I don't know how much that is because I did it a long time ago uh, but yeah obviously it's very nice it's got a ice cream sandwich kind of jelly bean look going on it's very square and rigid um, as you can see across the top here but it's very nice indeed uh, I'll just say preferences you can have a darker light theme, card font size uh, you can also do backups of your RS streams etc uh, so yeah that's pretty cool a great app that I use all the time and probably my most used app, my most used app, sorry, to consume information. Um, so we'll just go to our second app here, and it's going to be BBC News. BBC News is obviously the British broadcasting uh, service. They are a, a news company in the UK, and uh, they also do worldwide news. Obviously, they're the main, uh, biggest news company in the UK for. Uh, news information basically you know including top stories in world economics and politics uh, sport technology you name it they do it uh, so as again it's very jelly bean ICS look very rigid and works great with um, jelly bean what I'm running here and basically this is what you get when you first load up you'll get uh, top stories world stories UK sport entertainment and arts and as you can see you also get technology I added Northern Ireland here you can go to the bottom and you can also add all these topics uh, including health, uh, politics, education, business, uh, news in Scotland, news in Wales etc. Um, you can refresh it up there, you can also edit it again uh, you can go up here and you can send in tips to BBC News uh, if you go into the settings it allows you to automatically update the news which is a bit useless so I don't do that uh, and up here on the top will always be the latest and breaking news stream uh, so once we're in an app, as you can see, you just view it. Uh, it's not scroll about you. You can also flick through articles, and uh, and you can also increase text and do all that good stuff and share it for between your different networks that you have. So it's a BBC News app. I've got a link to all these in the description. Uh, next is Flipboard. Obviously, we all know Flipboard. I'm not going to go through a lot of that. Basically, again, it uh, takes RS feeds. Um, you can take your Twitter account, your YouTube account, your uh, Facebook account and it merges them into this flipboard style as you can see here and you can view stories from as you can see I've got Gizmodo and Gadget all these RRS feeds and um, and it's just for me there <laughs> very good very fast clicking on an article brings it up in this nice formatted way if available and as you can see here I'm flipping through the story very initiative intuitive sorry initiative intuitive um, the way it works, obviously, it's all swiping. You don't actually need to use the back button. Um, settings are not that much. You can do full screen. It doesn't work that well on the Nexus 7. 
in my opinion, because everything's so big. But it works really well on a phone. Uh, but that's Flipboard. Um, as again, I'm not going to describe much about that because you know what it's about. Uh, next is Appy Geek. Appy Geek is another RS reader <laughs> in a bit of a different way. It's kind of got a Windows Phone style look to it here. As you can see, there's tiles and they have top stories, news, and you can add articles, not articles, sorry, areas like Samsung that I've added, or Amazon, or Android, or Gadget. Uh, we'll just add one here. And as you can see, we have Hot Topics featured, latest added. And you can also, if we just go back there, you can search and uh, add your topic or iOS feed to the stream itself. As you'll see, once I click on one, you get an animation effect. That's very Windows Phone style. Um, that's what it reminded me of. And scroll through the stories, and the bottom will change. And again, you have all your options to share. And uh, this is a, uh, these are tags for the article which I think is pretty cool and if you to click on one you'll get information about that tag uh, news articles from RS streams across the internet about that uh, so that's Appy Geek, it's a pretty cool app uh, my last app for obtaining information uh, is actually going to be Google Plus because if you follow the right people on Google Plus um, you can obviously, it works great on the Nexus 7 and any phone and you can, can, you can view all this information and you can share it obviously with voice social networks um, and also if you're going to what's hot you don't even need to be following people you can obviously from what's hot I find with Google Plus you can get a lot of cool information uh, about the world and just generally cool stuff um, as you can see here we've got an article about a list of Google Now commands and smart cards for Android it's pretty cool so yeah, Google Plus is a social network or a media or information network or whatever you want to call it, but I use it all the time for obtaining information because it's so easy and so intuitive to use. Um, an honourable mention to maybe not a news or, a, well it's an information obtaining app but it's not a news app I suppose, is Xeno. Xeno is a magazine reader which I've actually just started using and uh, obviously you can obtain information from all these magazines. <laughs> So this is probably the not the biggest source of information, but you know all these magazines you have to pay for, obviously. But you can uh, you can get new. There's a new scientist magazine there, and you can see my magazines or Android magazine, um, and I can obtain the latest information and articles and opinions uh, through Zeno, which is a great magazine app uh, for any Android-based system. So thanks for watching, guys. That's been my top five um, information apps to gain information and gain more knowledge and enhance your uh, your view of the world if you like. Um, I know it's deep. Uh, I hope you like it. Please like and don't forget to comment if you have any questions and uh, yeah, subscribe. Thanks for watching.